I've got an RTO that's kind of new this year. Radio telephone operator. You can tell by the antenna mast off his back. <laughs> that be me. Actually, I've been calling him my motor. It's it's very efficient. It's clean burning. Burns methanol. You, you can feed it just about anything. Beer, hard alcohol, hamburgers. It runs. It's the next generation of stuff. I, I suggest you pick one up. <laughs> I originally broke this uh, shortly before September 11th, actually. Uh, it started out as a fracture of the tibia and fibula. I did not realize it was fractured, and I guess I have what they call a high tolerance for pain on top of not being very bright. Because, uh, and this is literally, I'm, I walk on it for about five days until all of a sudden I can't walk on it anymore because it's hurting so much. So I drive myself to the hospital. <laughs> They roll me in and x-ray me and they go, you have a con closed compound fracture of the tibia and fibula. How'd you get here? We need to give you some meds. And I said, well, uh, I drove myself here. He goes, wow, you have a high tolerance for pain. And I went, oh, you know, I used to play rugby. And he goes, oh, you're not very bright either, are you? <laughs> I said, thanks, doc. You want to fix this up or what? So when they pulled it straight and I cried like a little girl, because let me tell you, nothing hurts more than pulling a brake straight, except for getting a catheter. Speaking of that, anybody here had a catheter? Anybody? So you know exactly what I'm talking about. I had a catheter that could choke a donkey. They had me on 10 milligrams of morphine. I thought I was going to die. I literally, they, they t and women, I now can sympathize with what you go through giving birth. And we give you mad props for doing that. Because as they're putting this evil device in, and the nurse is smiling at me while she's doing it, she says, she has the, the nerve while I'm going, ow, to say, just breathe. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> just breathe. Come on, fuck you, breathe. That hurts. Ow. Get that out. Literally. No, no, we have to have a doctor's order to remove this. Where's my doctor? Get him on the phone now. They gave me an 18-gauge catheter. Picture a drinking, a crazy straw. <laughs> going up a hair follicle. And I have the Irish curse, so I'm not, I've got, you know, everybody know what the Irish curse is, right? Yeah. Anybody not know? Don't tell us, please. <laughs> <laughs> Tough, mate. That means that you have big balls and no dick. I'm not right now, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Clearly, sir, you're Dutch. <laughs> the fada. Anyway, so uh, it turned into a closed compound fracture. It healed in what's called a non-union join, which means later on if you actually go to my website, I'll have it up there. It's uh, exo.exo.com forward slash Tilly Priest. My leg was bent at the about four inches above the ankle at a 30 degree angle. So they, <laughs> uh, they <laughs> my orthopod sent me to his orthopod, and they they performed carpentry upon my leg. They took a, everybody know what a tension jack is? They attached a tension jack to the bone and ratcheted it straight. They put a seven inch plate of titanium with eight screws into the, into the tibia. They took a, about a four inch chunk of bone out of my hip and put it in the wound. They put a bone stimulator, which is a small computer with a battery and electrical wire into the site to uh, send constant alternating current through the, uh, the break point to heal it. Uh, the operation actually cost me about $65,000 for my insurance. So technically, I am the $65,000 man. <laughs> I have the best of Wolverine and Leo, uh, Steve, uh, what's his name? Um, $6 million man, what is his name? Steve Austin in my leg, which means I run really fast in a circle. <laughs> and I can, leap, I can leap over about a single story building. Anyway, so we're on day 37 of uh, a two month cast period. So that's what happened to my leg. Are there any questions on that? <laughs> and what happened was I got stepped on, literally. One of my mates behind me couldn't stop in time and stepped on my leg and broke it. <laughs> and I continued to play on it because I thought it was a sprained ankle. Make so, from well, <laughs> the, the doctor, the, the horse's name, <laughs> he's a really nice guy and he was really sorry afterwards, but he was a half and he's not very bright either. And uh, the doctor tells me I can look forward to such exciting sports as fishing <laughs> and golf and swimming. So no more rugby for me. Yeah, that actually was really, well, see, when I was playing, I thought I was still 20, and then I realized I was over 30. 
and it just doesn't heal as fast, let me tell you. So I guess we're still waiting for Mr. Moss to show up, Dark Tangent, so we can uh, start the whole uh, process here. Anybody have any questions about Khan or any questions in general they want answered? We can kind of kick that off now, anybody? In the back, sir, yes. Uh, Caesar, I'm positive it's going to be somewhere in between Jeff and the end of this, I think. Is that cool? Yeah, please. Uh, yes, sir, you had a question in the front. Uh, the number I've heard was about 5,000. Uh, actually, it's a little bit up from last year. Uh, we did some very, very unusual, well, we, we, we made some big changes this year, and I think they were important changes. And, and based on what's happened this year, there is, as I understand it, and don't hold me to this, there will be a DEF CON 11. Uh, what we as a staff decided to do, and there was a lot of issue over it, was to raise the price of the convention, which eliminated about half of the idiots who come out and cause trouble. The other, the other half of the idiot elimination was we went back to what we consider more technical talks. And we, we feel we've attracted a much higher caliber of people this year who are much more mature and uh, much more responsible. And we want to actually, the staff wants to thank all of you for, for making our jobs that much easier. Uh, last year I had uh, four or five overdoses. I had one guy go into cardiac arrest and grand mal seizures. Uh, we had... I think three or four drunken disorderlies, a riot where they had to call a ghetto bird, uh, and about five or six fights, and a whole lot of property damage. It was like Beirut here. Uh, this year, great. This year we had two incidents uh, of violence. Both were instigated by people who wanted intentionally to mess up DEF CON. Uh, it stemmed from the idiots last year who came out with beat up a goon, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm all for personal privacy and anarchy and so on and so forth, except when people get hurt. Then it turns into just stupidity. And uh, these guys were just stupid. There was a continuation of that. And we, uh, we immediately got them off the, pro the property and uh, took care of the issue. We had absolutely no overdoses. Everybody was fine. Nobody died. The property damage is down to minimum. And like I said, we want to thank you for that because, you know, it's nice to have some responsible, educated, and cool people as a whole bunch of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, as a whole bunch of uh, candy ravers who are completely idiots. Amen. So give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> yes, sir. You could raise them a little more and rent a few more air conditioners. <laughs> Okay, let me explain about the air conditioners. <laughs> we actually had engineers in the, in the facilities trying to fix the air conditioning problems. Uh, we hired people to try and do that. Unfortunately, we are in the middle of a desert. And I'm not mocking you, sir, I'm just serious. And I, you know, I hate, personally, I hate Vegas. I only come here once a year uh, because it's so bloody hot. <laughs> we're, we're, we're talking about, I'd like to see it in Monterey, California myself, but. Uh, just because I like to scuba dive, and that's, well, uh, we're getting a little close to trouble there. <laughs> I don't know if San Francisco would be all that receptive. <laughs> I couldn't get away with half the jokes I tell in San Francisco. I'd be slapped with liable lawsuits and probably arrested by the PC. Uh, San, San Diego is also nice. Yes, sir. Uh, we are, I believe, in, and Dark Tangent is on the way and we'll be able to confirm this. I'm believing we're planning a DEF CON 11 at this point. Beyond that, I can't comment. Because uh, Dark Tangent is the, is the man. Uh, I'm simply the minister without portfolio for DEF CON. So I believe 